So you want to learn how to code, but it's 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 too it's too hard. It's a lot of hard. It's pretty hard. It's, it takes a lot of effort. You gotta watch a video. You gotta watch, read, read a lecture for like eight hours and do a bunch of stuff and like have multiple user experience. But like, what if you want to learn in very very short amount of, in a very very short amount of time? Well, that's why I'm here today. We're gonna learn how to do the. We're gonna learn episode so one of. So, Right. Alright, so we're gonna go and hop into Discord. We're in the Simple Sharp Programming uh, Discord. You can join the description. Uh, if you go into the description. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, you'll see there's gonna be a new version out by the time this video is released. But uh, first of all, let's, let's go install Simple Sharp. It's so easy. It just literally takes it's so easy. So go ahead and open the .NET Core page. It's uh, just by clicking this link. Go ahead and download that. Scroll down. Get your desktop runtime. It's only uh, Simple Sharp works on Windows. So uh, we're gonna get uh, scroll down. Let's get the .NET Core runtime for Windows x64 or 86. So just go ahead and download that, click it, install it, boom, done. And uh, next of all, go to your, go to our, go to my media fire link, boom, bam, boop, bop, 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 and then we got this thing. Go ahead and download that and, and unzip it. We're gonna go ahead and take our thing on our desktop. We're gonna go ahead and unzip that. So right click with you, right click with WinRAR installed. Go ahead and extract that. Uh, all right, and then when you open up the folder, uh, we're gonna be uh, this thing, and then you see open me with simplesharp.exe to install. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna right click it, go to open with, and then go to choose another app. All right, then we. Then we check, always use this app to open SES files. Then go ahead and search. And we're just going to pick our, we're going to go to our Simple Sharp folder, NetCore App 3.0, and pick SimpleSharp.exe. And uh, yeah, there you go, you've installed Simple Sharp. Now, what, what do we, let's, let's make our first, let's make our first script. All right, so let's go ahead and press, just go over to new, and let's go to text document. My first code, yay. Poop. All right, now we're gonna now with the file extension, we're gonna change it to .scs, and uh, Windows is gonna warn you. But as you can see, you should have a little program icon here. If you can't change your file extension like this, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that. Open your file explorer, go up to View up in the top, and then check File Name Extensions, and you'll be able to edit your file name extensions. Uh, if we go ahead and open our first simple sharp script, it's not gonna do much. It's gonna, you know, you can see it's uh, it's gonna do something, and then once it builds, it's just gonna say running finished. So. That's kind of that's kind of poopy. Uh, let's go ahead and open this with Notepad plus plus and uh, yeah, and uh, let's go ahead and do our thing. All right, so let's go ahead and get to coding. So um, so, so we're gonna do what everybody everybody stupid poopy does. We're gonna type right line and then we're gonna open up open parentheses close parentheses and uh, say right line open parentheses close parentheses and then in quotation marks we're gonna write we're gonna write hello hello guys today we will be installing virus scanner free. Okay, perfect. Uh, basically, what we did when we said right line, we're do we're doing what's calling. It's called calling a function. So we called the right line function, and then the parameters that we pass to it are uh, "Hello guys, today we'll be installing virus scanner free." Now, there's two things you have to distinct here. Uh, there's two different things that we could have done. We could have wrote this without quotation marks, and this is done. This is gay. This is stupid. You don't want you don't want to do this. Um, it's because when we put quotation marks, we're telling the code telling the code that this is text, this is not text. When we put quotation marks, we're just telling it it's literally text. The same same kind of thing could be with the distinction of like uh, 26 is different than 26 because this is literally this is a, an integer and this is a, a text. The computer doesn't distinguish anything different between 26 and AB. It's quite, pretty much the same thing. They're both just they're all just characters. But this is a physical number that can be uh, programmed with. Uh, it's kind of complicated, but shut up. We write we wrote our script, so let's go ahead and save and run our code. Wait for it to compile, and then um, we'll see. We can go ahead and see our. Boom, look at that. Hello guys, today we will be installing virus scanner free. That's pretty cool and all. Let's go ahead and again get into variables. Now if you've done algebra, you you know what you know if you've done pre-algebra, you literally know what variables are. So for example, you guys have done something like x equals three. So we can literally just type out, you know, our, our expression. So let's say x equals three or x plus x base, whatever equals three. So we can say x equals three. Let's say well, now let's say we want to write that number out to the console. Well we could try write line x like that. But uh, as you can probably tell, uh, because we put x in the string, it's going to write the letter x. We don't want that. What if we want to write the variable x? We set x to 3, so how do we write the variable? Well, all we got to do is just remove our quotation marks, and now it's literally referencing x. When we remove the quotation marks around the x, we're not talking about the actual character x. We're now talking about the variable x, literally. So now if we do this, you'll see, I'll go ahead and open our code and let it compile. Now, now what you'll see is it's gonna write three to the console because, well, it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> all right, so that's all well and dandy. But what if we want to get into some input? So what? So let's go ahead and just um, open up a copy of our Simple Sharp documentation because 
this is very this is gonna be very important you're gonna use this a lot here as you can see we it's actually right line right here which uh, returns it's just right line object and uh, that's cool and um, if we want to let's say we want to get some input so what we'll see we'll scroll down and you can see there's a function called input and it says allows the user to input text and press enter returns whatever they typed what is return Luke what the frick is, what is return return is uh, say we were doing some math right and we said f of x is equal to um, x plus 3 all right so this f of x returns x plus 3 correct so we could say um, a is equal to um, f of 3 and this would this would make a 6 because f of, because it's f of 3 and uh, f of 3 would equal 3 plus 3 which is 6 so functions return the same way uh, programming functions return the same way so what we can do here what we can do here uh, is if we look input if we hover over it it says returns string and a string is what we talked about earlier it's uh, this is a string that's a string right there it's surrounded in quotation marks so if we go ahead and just have a variable for example we can make a variable called name for example and we could say it's equal to input alright so name is equal to input now we're calling the input function and it doesn't have any parameters as you can see uh, you see it's just input and I can actually this is a fun fact you can actually click on a function in here and it will automatically copy it to your clipboard so you don't have to worry about that and you can then from there you can just paste it in and bam so go ahead and uh, so now we have the input function the input function is going to return uh, whatever the user types so if we go ahead and say now we can use the uh, information that we already learned so we can say right line right line name uh, I keep I keep putting a semicolon accidentally don't do that name equals input so they'll type out they'll put some put them put their name right line name so then we write their name if we go ahead and do this uh, it's not gonna be very interesting because well we don't have any don't have anything actually in front of it yet. So boom, bam, boom, and it's good. As you can see, there's nothing yet, but it wants us to in in input some text. So I'm going to say Luke, boom, and it prints out Luke. Now this literally just says Luke twice. So what if we want it to, for example, maybe say something before our, our thing? So we could say for we could say right line, and then don't forget our quotation marks. What is your name? Like that, and that could make our our thing a little bit cooler. But what if we wanted to put some text along with our variable? It's actually really simple. You do a thing called concatenation. So to concatenate, all you do is use a plus sign. You basically do addition with uh, text. Hello plus name. And this would write hello and then the variable name because you see it's not encapsulated in a in quotation marks. I hope you guys are following along. Uh, don't worry. It's, it'll get easier as time goes on. Hello and then we concatenate it with the variable name. And it'll say hello, Luke. And notice how we put a space here So because, you know, we want a space in between the variables. What is your name? If I type Luke... Hello, Luke, and it says it literally writes out "Hello, Luke." Now, if we wanted to, for example, concatenate another string together, we could put a plus again and make it put an exclamation mark at the end. What is your name, Luke? Or I can Luke. Yeah, there we go. Hello, Luke, and it has an exclamation mark at the end now. So that's really cool. And uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much wraps up the first coding episode. If you guys want more of this, which is going to come out whether you like it or not.